What's up, y'all? It is Bella, back testing with Bella, Trading Bay. Today, I am going to be breaking down the Inner Circle Trader video himself, the Optimum Trade Entry, and just showing you guys how he used Fibonacci's for retracements and how to enter on his trades for Optimum Trade Entries. So, I watched the video already for 44 minutes, so you don't have to, and I'm going to break it down in the simplest way, like I always do, for you guys to understand. So, subscribe already then go ahead and click that subscribe button and that like button and comment too so thank you so much and let's get into it let's get into it i'm so happy to be doing this video today like i'm not gonna lie i love breaking shit down so oh shit 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 i meant to put that float on top it's supposed to be float on top all right so y'all see how I watched the video already, so y'all didn't have to. So let me just go ahead and back it up. Bring it back in the scope of simple. I'm going to just play like the most important parts that I really liked and what I took from it. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to play this whole 44 minute long ass video. Like, that's not the point of this video. This video is only going to be like 15 minutes, 18 minutes the most, most. No cap. So, get into it real fast. Let's just look at it. Because I have a lot of things that I've taught everyone what is my favorite part what is my favorite part uh... Ooh. intraday volatility we're looking at big bring it back in the scope of simplification because i have a lot of things that i've taught everyone does everyone you not know, standing what right in the great detail and is deep pockets lots of orders oh, coming in not. large size of orders right, are coming so hold in. on real quick hold on real quick because i'm just trying to um basically get to the part where he was talking about why he used certain when you live with um, fibonacci levels Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis your day can be full of or can do and that's great but one minute charts are not going to decipher what smart money is doing that's just very short-term volatility now i'm not disparaging the ability to make money doing so that was something that i like what he said also he doesn't really use the fibonacci retracements on the one minute time frame because you, you guys know like the one minute time frame can be precise but it's like it's precise when you know the overall trend of the market so if you don't know the overall trend it's a lot of noise so he doesn't really use the Fibonacci retracement on the one minute chart. All right, so here it is. So here's where he starts talking about the Fibonacci levels and why he used them. Sign dollar sign just allows the MT4 platform to plot the actual value. So you guys see there see at the um, optimum trade entry, okay. like his best optimum trade entry is 70.5%. Sometimes he'll enter like on 62%. He said sometimes he like to enter early. But let's just say like if the market was in like in a bullish market, his stop loss would be at the 100% line. So like he'll enter on a retracement when it retraces back to 70.5%. And I'll show you guys on my own chart too. Or he'll enter early on 62%. And then he enter for calls. So let's just say he wants the market to be bullish. But if it was to go down to the 100 level line, he stopped out like, that's it. Like, that trade is dead because obviously it was wrong and it's not respecting the Fibonacci, um, you know, levels. So he has his first profits at first profit scaling. Then he have his target one, target two, and then like a swing trade, um, target three. So he said um, for the first profit, sometimes he'll take his profit before it gets to that line because sometimes it doesn't go to that line all the way. Sometimes it will retrace back down. So he'll take some profits there. And then he'll take some profits at the target one. And then he'll take some profits at target two. 
and then he'll take profits at the last one. And it's point seven zero five for the sweet spot for optimal trade entry. That's the price level I'd like to see price trade to. And seventy nine percent. And we have our target levels, which is zero negative zero. So basically zero, he's just saying everything I just said. Zero, two seven and then negative one for symmetrical price swing. Okay, and then the same as this, you know, done over here. I don't need to show you the uh, property settings for that. It's the same thing that's shown in the scale of looking for downside. So basically he's saying it's the same thing. So let's just say if the market was in a downtrend, you would want to wait until it retraced back up into the 79, 70.5 or 62% to look for puts. And then, but your targets will be to the opposite side. It'll be to the downside because the market's in a bear, bearish market, right? So the premise is, we would be looking for price to do something like this. Okay, we have a impulse price leg higher. And then we have another impulse price leg off that level and trading down into optimal trade entry. Okay, so what we're trying to do is get below halfway of that price leg higher down into 62, so you see what he said. So basically he looks for an impulse swing to the high. So basically he does this at swing lows and swing highs. It's not hard to understand. So you'll just draw your Fibonacci from a swing low to a swing high, wait till it retraces back down, and then you're looking to enter for calls, but this time to go higher and take out liquidity to the buy side. Simple. It's that simple. All right, y'all, so those were the key concepts that I liked from the ICT Optimum Trade Entry video. I did watch the 44 minutes, so you don't have to, and so I can just break it down in a simple, in the simplest way that I could, because that's what I like to do. So, basically, he was just talking about how he goes about Fibonacci levels and how he enters his own retracements. He was saying that the 70.5% level is his very much optimum trade entry. Sometimes he'll enter earlier on a 60, 62% level. And then he was talking about if it goes to a 100% level, based on what trend is in, then that will possibly be his stop loss for his trades. So he did say that he doesn't use the Fibonacci levels on a one or two minute time frame. He doesn't really like it on micro time frames because it can be a lot of noise. So he does like using it on higher time frames. And whenever he's doing his Fibonacci levels, he's taking it from swing lows to swing highs or from swing highs to swing lows in the market, which has already happened. And then he's just waiting on a retracement back to like the middle of those levels to enter in for a cause or puts, whether the market is in a bullish or a bearish market. You can find swing lows or swing highs around order blocks or break of structures. So I am going to get into replay mode from somewhere around, let's just say from this swing low. So you guys can see at this swing low that liquidity has already been taken out from the sell side. So I'll just add a level here. Um, liquidity was taken out from the sell side and then it quickly bounced all the way up. So it do look like it want to fill some fair value gaps before I even get into um, the Fibonacci levels as well. I am going to put my swinging high all the way down to the swing low here. So from here, I want to see it retrace back up into like 61 or 70% before I look to continue for the market to go to the downside. Because you guys can see that the market is currently in a downtrend. But I kind of want to see it go from like, like here. Like in a downtrend. So it went down. I want to see it go up. And then back down even lower. Let's make that line purple. And make it so you guys can see clear. I'm going to delete this and also I'm going to delete the fair value got off my chart because that's not mainly what I'm focused on today. All right, so from here, I want to see it go up. So 
So you guys are watching a um, fair by you got to get filled right now in this moment. So it is currently back at a break of structure. So he did say he likes for the break of structures to go back and get rete retested also. So right here, it is back at a retest of break of structures. Um, you guys can see how it's following into my path very well. I want to see this next target point get taken out at the bottom of the order block at 46.14. Make that line orange so you guys can see before I'm looking to enter for puts. Okay, so obviously the, the optimum trade entry would have been at 60 1.80 basically the 62 percent level for puts because the market is in a overall bearish market retrace back up to the upside and now it is time to continue on to its path in the bearish market which is the downside so trade entry is kind of late but it's whatever i do want to see it go lower so i do have my short position here and i want to see it go lower Fill that gap, okay. All right, so you would have even had a second chance to enter from up there. My trade is already entered from down here. So you guys see how the target point was taken out. It didn't exactly go to one, two, or three, but it's all good. So this would have been a great trade if you entered on SPX from 44.80. It would have went down to 41.70. So that is a very big move on SPX. So if you were swing trading that, that would have went down $310 in a matter of a week. So that is a very great trade. SVX is expensive, so you probably would have had to do some shit like that on SPY for real. But yeah, that is basically how he uses his Fibonacci levels from swing lows to swing highs, and then basically he enter off retracements, and his optimum trade entry, he said, is at the 70% level, or somewhere between those three yellow levels that I had on my chart, which is like, 70.5, or 61%. He said the 61% is where he enters early. So that is how he used his Fibonacci levels. I would say if you guys need more help, even though I did the hard work I feel like, I feel like you can go back to his video and I will have it down in the link in my description box below. So you guys can watch that video thoroughly and just learn how to do optimum trade entry videos. If you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. So... Until next time, stay blessed.